Registered Phenomena Code 500 Object Class Beta Yellow Hazard Types Organic Hazard Visual Hazard Sensory Hazard Containment Protocols An enclosure has been built around the prime instance of RPC-500. At no point are personnel to directly view RPC-500. Monitoring is to be entirely performed via surveillance cameras. The former town of has been placed under authority ownership, and public access is strictly forbidden. As there are currently no feasible means of relinquishing RPC-500-1 instances of their anomalous properties, existing instances are to be euthanized. A number of RPC-501-A instances have been kept for study and have been coated with paint to establish their location and size. Description: RPC-500 is a single instance of bur oak tree located in United States. RPC-500 is the single remaining tree of the former woodlands. RPC-500 was discovered shortly after the mass timber harvesting of the woodlands in 19. Humans that directly perceive RPC-500 will experience a hallucination whenever they are located in the grounds of the former woodlands. Subjects will perceive the area to be identical to the woodlands before their destruction. Such individuals are henceforth referred to as RPC-500-1. RPC-500-1 instances display an anomalous property that will activate whenever they lose consciousness, whether it be from sleeping or involuntarily passing out. During this time, instances of RPC-501-A will begin manifesting within the direct radius of the respected instance of RPC-500-1. Of note, Instances of RPC-500-1 report experiencing vivid dreams of being lost in the woodlands while unconscious. RPC-501-A are unseeable instances of bur oak tree that manifest in clusters of 15 to 40 each hour the instance of RPC-500-1 remains unconscious. Instances of RPC-501-A will protrude from any available solid surface within the radius of RPC-500-1 and will continue to grow further outward from the instance's location. Instances of RPC-501-A, while unseeable, are fully solid and may be interacted with. Due to these properties, instances of RPC-501-A will cause significant damage when appearing within interior structures. If an instance of RPC-500-1 expires, their body will convert into a secondary instance of RPC-500 sharing identical anomalous properties. Discovery Log RPC-500 was discovered several days after timber harvesting of the former woodlands. Following the event, witnesses from the town responsible for the mass logging entered the area and reported perceiving the woodlands in their former state. This led to multiple residents visiting the location and succumbing to RPC-500's anomalous effects. Because of this, a mass spread of RPC-501-A instances occurred for the next several days throughout due to residents that had unknowingly become instances of RPC-500-1. Authority personnel were able to reach, but not before approximately, residents of the town were found to have expired from vast collateral damage caused by the growth of RPC-501-A throughout the town. A multitude of these deaths were caused either by victims being crushed by numerous instances of RPC-501-A appearing in a single location, or additional accidents, such as falling debris and house fires. The town was found almost completely demolished from countless instances of RPC-501-A growth, a vast majority of which had manifested within residents' and homes while sleeping. Instances of RPC-500-1 were recovered for study and was put under immediate authority quarantine prior to containment.